All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new DC update. And you're not going to believe something that I'm going to show you here today. But do you remember uh, the last video I did? And, it, you know, I was talking about James Gunn and the fact that he didn't post the Penguin trailer and how that got a copyright strike by Warner Brothers. Well, I disputed that because it definitely did not have any sound playing. I didn't even play the whole trailer. It was what was showing on James Gunn's account. I wasn't focused on the trailer. It wasn't what the point of the video was to show the trailer or do a review on it. And they struck it. And then this is what they came back with this morning. Check this out. So it says, Hi, my review, Aaron Fisher. After reviewing your dispute, WBTV has decided that their copyright claim is still valid. Video title, James Gunn forgets to promote the Penguin and an amazing DC Cinematic Universe book gets a release. Copyright content, the Penguin 2024 reference teaser number one claimed by Warner Brothers TV. Why this can happen. The copyright owner might disagree with your dispute. The reason you gave for disputing the claim may not have may may have been insufficient or invalid. Thanks, the YouTube team. Guys, there was nothing about that sh that should have had a copyright claim on it. And you know what's crazy about this? This for number number one, this shows you that Warner Brothers knows who I am. Okay, I am fully convinced now that they don't want me showing their stuff. And I have actually heard of one or two other YouTubers who used to do DC stuff and didn't show their face. And so what they did in the background is they showed a bunch of clips from trailers and other things. And I told you guys a long time ago that I don't want to do that. And it has to do with YouTube rules because they make some, they may make some rule in the future and it could be retroactive to everything you've done in the past. And so I told people, I'm never going to show bunches of clips in a row like that from anything DC related. And what's crazy about this is, is that that's not what that video was even focused on. And let's talk about what that video was to begin with, because I had a lot of people come in and just say that I'm just on the gun hate train. And what was crazy is when I started that video, and you can go back and watch it. When I started that video, I was actually giving James Gunn the benefit of the doubt. But then when I went and actually showed you that he had posted this and I started seeing the other things, he had posted throughout the entire day. And for him to say that he didn't have time because he was too busy on the set, yet he had posted a bunch of other things on social media that same day, you know that is a flat-out lie. So one of two things happened. And, and what's crazy is I had some people actually come in and say, well, maybe he doesn't have high-speed internet in that remote place he's at. Really, guys? Really? They're going to have all kinds of technology to be safe out there. And if you don't think he had high-speed internet to where he could embed this, you're absolutely wrong, okay? He absolutely had the ability. It was one of two things. Either he forgot or he didn't want to show it and Warner Brothers forced him to show it. And I don't think they liked my take on that because it's true. There's all, It could be only those two options. It's not what James Gunn said it was because he actually posted other stuff and had access to the internet. So his, again... Warner Brothers is all about deception. The whole studio is. And there's some other crazy things. Uh, there's one other clip. There's another uh, picture I'm going to show you today. And I'm going to tie this back to when The Flash came out. We're going to show you something interesting that happened with Star Wars. But first, let's take a look at a couple of the photos I grabbed. It's been actually pretty quiet. But let's look at the few things that I have grabbed here. So it has actually been very, very, very quiet in regards to DC. But one one post by DC Film News said Colin Farrell fought valiantly against Warner Brothers for the Penguin to have a cigar and won. Previously, the studio banned Cobblepot from smoking in the Batman. And I'm sorry, you cannot have this character without his cigar or his cigarette. You just cannot do it. It's a part of who that character is. And so I'm glad that he finally won out for the show. And we're going to talk something, talk about something else in regards to this show here in a few minutes. So here's the other thing that I wanted to show you in regards to The Penguin. Colin Farrell says The Penguin is a really twisted eight hours of television. It's incredibly violent. It's one man's rise to what he's always dreamed of inhabiting, power. So 
What's crazy about this is, you know, DC keeps talking about they need to go lighter. They need to do this. And so what do they have? They have this violent penguin show coming out. What else do they have? This disgusting rated R, hard R cartoon called Creature Commandos coming out. And so what they say and what they do are two entirely different things. And we're going to talk about that here in a few minutes. Also, somebody posted this, uh, and I don't know if this is a real picture or not. I really hope this is not how Superman would look. I think this is completely photoshopped. I'm looking at the jawline versus the rest of the suit, and it, it everything just looks too small. The head looks too big, and I'm not liking the curl way off to the side like that or the look on his face. Uh, so I'm really hoping this isn't how he's going to look in the movie, and hopefully this is just something somebody conjured up and threw up, which I'm pretty sure it was, but I figured I'd share it. Like I said, it's been a pretty slow couple of days for news. DC is just all of a sudden slowed down to a crawl, and there just hasn't been much coming out. All right, so this is the other thing I wanted to show you guys, and this comes actually from my Twitter account. And what's crazy about this is I said the studios partake in nefarious activities. You cannot trust what you see them say or promote. They will flat out lie to push their agenda. And this goes for Warner Brothers too. Now, what I'm showing you is in regards to Disney. And this person, master of the TDS, posted this and actually grabbed a bunch of shots here. And he said, proving once again that I have something here with these blue checkmark Twitter bots promoting Disney movies and shows. I have discovered their latest effort, a combination of blue checkmark and non-blue checkmark bot accounts. And this is in regards to the Acolyte trailer. And everybody is saying the exact same thing. And so these are not real accounts, guys. This is the studio trying to push an agenda here. It says, Excitement soars as the trailer for Star Wars Acolyte sends fans into a frenzy. Dive into this article for a sneak peek into the mysterious and thrilling new chapter of the Star Wars saga. May the Force be with you. Fans are ecstatic over the new Star Wars trailer, eagerly anticipating the mysterious and thrilling adventure ahead. Fans are thrilled and buzzing with excitement over the Star Wars trailer. Can't wait. And then we have two more pages here, and they all say almost the exact same thing. It's copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Guys, these are not real accounts. This is the studio trying to falsify. And I really, and I want to talk about this because I really think this gets into a legal area where the studios could be liable and sued for stuff like this because it's a flat out lie. And here's another page of the exact same stuff. And so it's person after person after person after person. So let's talk about this here. Guys, we saw this same sort of nefarious activity with The Flash. And I'll never forget, first of all, I think what they did with Black Adam is also false advertising and they should be liable for. Because there were a lot of us that supported that movie and went to go see Black Adam after we knew that Henry Cavill was coming back as Superman. And they did that to drum up sales. Had they not done that, I wouldn't have seen it as many times as I did at the theater. And I'm not the only one. There were a lot of people who did that exact same thing. And so they actually got more sales out of it because they lied to the public. But then you get to The Flash. And there were so many things with The Flash that really pissed me off as a fan. The first being when they, when I, I got to go see the movie like a week or two, maybe even three weeks early. And I don't remember, you can go see when I had that review up, but they told us in the theater that the movie wasn't finished, that the special effects were going to be different. And so I went to see it at the theater again because of two different things, and both were lies. The first being that the special effects were going to be different and better, and they weren't. Those were the special effects, and they just claimed that was going to be the look that they had always anticipated doing, and it was to show the speed force and this different world that Barry could travel through. Sure, it was a style choice. Okay, the other thing that they lied about, and this comes from Muschietti's sister, where she said there was going to be a very special, a very special post credit scene that was going to get people excited. And all we got in that movie was that stupid Aquaman scene where he's drunk off his ass in a puddle of water. Again, making a joke out of Aquaman. And I guarantee you that is something that Gunn put in that movie. Uh, I don't think that's something that Muschietti did. And it definitely did not fulfill the promise that his sister made when promoting the film. So they're out there making 
false. They're lying to the general public in an effort to get people into the theaters. That crap needs to stop. I don't like the way that Warner Brothers functions as a company. They're disgusting. And they have just just the way they treat... They, I guarantee you they know about my channel. And they're never going to allow me to do trailer reviews. I remember they struck when I did Wonka and all this other stuff. And I loved Wonka. And I actually did a review that helped people go into theater to see this. Dune, too. Also, I will not be doing trailer reviews on anything in regards to Warner Brothers anymore, guys. I'm not going to do it because of what they do to my channel. And what's crazy about this is they'll take the profits off of that. So I'm going to make those films non-profitable so that they cannot take the YouTube money from the views that I get for the work that I did to put those videos together. And so what I'm going to do in the future for trailer reactions specifically is I'm going to do that for people who I'm going to set up uh, subscriptions, and I'm going to do that here really soon. And the people that go into subscriptions and, and get subscriptions off of YouTube and also on Locals, and I'm going to talk more about that in the future, are, are going to get to see more stuff. They're going to get to see, number one, all the trailer reactions that I do. Number two, the toys that I unbox and do reviews on, and they'll get the first look at those. And so there are things I'm going to be doing on my channel for people who decide to support me financially through those through those uh, subscriptions and those memberships. And I'm going to bypass what the studios do because it's rotten practices uh, by the studio. Again, other people can put theirs up, but I can't. Like, why? I wasn't even focused on that trailer. Like, there's some weird crap going on with these studios, and they don't realize how it hurts their business and how it makes them look. All right, guys, there's my video for the day. I do appreciate the support. I'm going to have that special video about protecting your identity and yourself online and at home, and that video will be coming later this week. I do appreciate all the support. We will see you guys on the next video.